more than a decade ago, we set up to a very ambitious goal of building a single microwave photon detector. And that made us to improve radiation sensors, bolometers, a lot. But now we have gone to a point where these thermal detectors can be actually integrated with qubits for something good. For example, reading out the state of the qubit. To make a quantum computer, you need some very basic operations. You need to prepare your qubits, you need to manipulate them, and then you need to read them out or measure them to find out their state at the end of the computation. It's not as easy as with traditional computers, where you can see if the voltage is one or zero. In a quantum computer, you need to interact with the system. One threat to the delicate qubit state is uh, noise from the external environment, any kind of noise. And one possible source of noise is your amplifier. In our paper, uh, we have replaced a traditional parametric amplifier used in qubit readout with a new kind of device. We have used a bolometer, which presents a fundamentally different mode for qubit readout, and uh, it has never been done before. Traditionally, qubits are measured by amplifying the voltage signal that comes out of the circuit. In, in bolometric measurement, this is very different. You're just absorbing the very weak signal to your absorber of the bolometer. For that reason, we can lose several components that are typically used in uh, voltage amplification schemes. Parametric amplifier requires components with large shields between the qubit and the amplifier. And currently it's manageable with maybe 100 qubits, but with thousands or millions of qubits, uh, it's not going to work. You are running out of space. And the bolometer is very small and consumes very little power. A bolometer with high enough sensitivity has, has basically not existed. Uh, that's what, why we are doing this research, is because we have developed a bolometer that is sensitive enough. A very clear way to improve the fidelity is to replace the metallic bolometer that we have used in this paper with a bolometer based on graphene, which we have previously shown uh, in 2020. So by using a graphene bolometer here instead of the metallic one, we think there will be a great improvement in terms of readout fidelity.